Now take a wax block and a label it as labial, lingual, mesial and distal. This will help in the carving. Now draw a midline. For the crown, take 10.5 mm measured from the scale and mark it on the wax block. Same as for the root, 13 mm. Now divide the crown in three thirds incisal, middle, and cervical third. At the cervix, take 3.5 mm from the midline on both the sides that is 7 mm and 8.5 mm at the incisal edge that will give us a mesodistal width of the crown maxillary central incisor Now remove the excess area with the carver. After removing the excess area, we'll get a trapezoid outline. From the mesial aspect, we have to draw a convex semicircular structure labially and an S shape lingually and also 3.5 millimeter cervical curvature same on the distal side 2.5 mm curvature we have to mark convexity and S shape structure now remove that excess on the lingual side we have to draw or remove a fossa that is of inverted w shape now we have completed the crown part for the root part we have to measure 13 mm and draw a conical structure and remove the excess part after removing the excess part we'll get the perfect crown and root that will look like this from the mesial aspect and this still aspect This was the diagrammatic steps in carving of the maxillary central incisor. Hope you like. Don't forget to subscribe.